Hello, this is Techno Andrew. In this video, I'll be showcasing the modifications made to my copy of the LEGO Disney Train locomotive. I was attracted to get this set, as I'm a big fan of both steam locos and theme parks in general. The set also includes a station building, featuring some nice architecture, and this was also my first time trying LEGO's most recent powered up system. In my opinion, this could well be the best steam locomotive LEGO has ever produced for an official set. The model is a good representation of the real CK Holiday Loco from Disneyland Anaheim in California. It also uses some interesting building techniques to create an attractive looking engine, particularly around the boiler area. As much as I like it, there are some clear areas for improvement. The most obvious shortfall being the lack of realistic connecting rods, and the pistons being attached to an outside frame bogey. The driving wheels are set up to articulate from the main body, similarly to LEGO's earlier Toy Story train set. Another clear error on the model is the colour of the boiler. LEGO chose to make this dark green, despite the real CK Holiday Loco sporting a blue boiler, as seen on the photo in the instruction booklet. I don't think this was a simple mistake made by LEGO, but more likely a decision made based on the production runs of different coloured LEGO parts at the time. The locomotive's tender houses the powered up hub and train motor, and doesn't well match the double bogey design of the real engine. However, for the time being I'm making do with it, and may revisit it at the later date. Finally, the cab leaves a fair bit to be desired. There is minimal detailing, and a large gap appears where the footplate would be in order to allow the driving wheel assembly to pivot. And here is my completed version. I'm pleased with the result, in which I've tried to keep the charm and character of the set, while also giving it a more mature finish. In order to accommodate the improvements discussed, the loco is a stud longer in length. This was achieved by extending the smoke box, and moving other parts accordingly. I've also adjusted the proportions by shortening the chimney and raising the cab roof, each by one plate. The main driving wheel chassis is now fixed to the loco body, along with new fixed cylinders that allow the connecting rods to function properly. The bogey is redesigned with a low profile frame, which allows the wheels to pivot clear of the cylinders. I decided to opt for a single bogey pivot, whilst also using blind drivers on the front drivers. I chose this as an alternative to the flange drivers and a bogey with multiple pivots, as it means the loco can navigate corners more smoothly, and the front of the loco overhangs less on the corners. I've added some extra details around the chassis and boiler area, such as the brake gear, water feeders and additional footboards. The cab exterior has also been modified with a thinner roof and new front windows. The interior of the cab now has extensive backhead details. The footplate area has been completely reworked, with no gaps to the driving wheels, plus footsteps and a uh, more subtle tender coupling. You'll also see that I added an extra trick to the model with working lights. An LED in the cab represents the glow of the oil fire, which was inspired by a video I saw taken in the cab of the real loco. Since the powered up lights come as a pair, the model also has a working front headlamp. The hardest part about this was routing the wire through the centre of the loco. The headlamp itself is slightly compromised in shape, but I think it's worthwhile. The model is really fun to run in the dark, with the headlamp lighting the way ahead, and the cab illuminated by the fire. And that about covers it for my modifications of the engine. This was a fun exercise, allowing me to personalise my model, and bring it closer to the standard of my other LEGO train MOCs. Thanks all for watching!